Hey guys, this is going to be a pretty quick video. Uh, what we're going to do is just add some events. All right, so we're not going to start the CSS yet. We just want to add a couple events. All right, so what we're going to do is just pick a few days here. All right, so I'm going to pick, let's see, we'll start with um, the other months. All right, we'll do one for the 28th. All right, so what we want to do is right after this, the, the date div, uh, we want to create another div with the class of event. All right. And then inside of that, we want a, an event description. So we'll say div class, and this will be event description. All right, so I'm just going to uh, say HTML5 lecture with Brad Traversy from Eduonics. I, mean, I should probably capitalize my name. Okay, so there's an event div with, with a description. Now under the description, I'm going to create another div and call it event time. And then in here, I'm just going to say 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. All right, so that's really all there is to creating a, an event. All right, so I'm just what I'm going to do is just copy this. And I'm just going to spread out a little and just add some random events. So we'll do the second. And I'm just going to paste in a description. Okay, career development, we'll say 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, let's see, do this. Whoops, gotta copy this again. Let me just copy a description real quick. Okay, we'll say 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Oops, I keep doing that. Okay, I want to go after the date. to 1 p.m. Okay, we'll do two more. Actually, we'll do a Three more. All right, so I just pick in random dates. Okay, so now if we reload, you can see that um, it's all spread out. We have events for uh, individual dates. All right, so I just wanted to add that just so uh, we can have all the content that we need uh, complete so we can start to work on presentation and CSS.